Hi and welcome back to Siren Crypto, I'm Becky and I thought in this video we'd look at the idea behind short selling. Now short selling is where you profit if you think a market is going to fall. It's a straightforward thing to do and you'll see that in a second as short selling is designed to try and profit from a market that's falling. Firstly here's our disclaimer. This tutorial is for educational and illustrative purposes only. We are not responsible for any investments made applying this information or buying or selling recommendations. Siren Crypto are not licensed investment advisors. We make no recommendations to purchase or sell any kind of coin, option or security. Any investment contains risk and is 100% the responsibility of the investor to assess the risks and rewards involved. Trading the crypto market involves a high degree of risk and you may incur financial losses if you engage in this activity. We at Siren Crypto take no liability, assumed or implied, from your application of the information we share within our training programmes. Understandably, for a lot of people, it takes maybe a little bit of getting your head around the idea of how short selling works. Traditionally, if you come from an investment background, what we normally do is something like this. We see a market that's going up, so we think that this is, whether it's a share, an index or a currency, whatever, the thought may be it's going to carry on going up. So I'm going to buy and then hopefully the market carries on. And it gets to a point where you think this may have gone far enough now, so I'm going to sell and I'm going to take my profits. That's probably something that the majority of us are familiar with within the markets. The idea of buying low and selling higher, hopefully for a profit. Short selling is very similar to that, but clearly if we have a market that is sliding and we think it's going to slide further, we don't want to buy. What's the point in buying if the market is just going to get cheaper? With short selling, if the market is sliding lower, what we do is, is when we open the trade, we sell first. And this is the concept that has some people in the beginning tying their brain in knots. The idea of selling something you don't own with a view to buying it back later on. But that's exactly what short selling is. So as the market moves lower and lower, we sold short, let's say here. And if it gets to a position where we think actually the market has gone far enough, we profit the same way as if we were buying first. Our profit is the difference between our buy price and where we sell. If we are short selling, it's the same sort of process. Where we open the trade by selling first and where we close the trade, that determines our profit or loss. It's really important to understand a couple of things before we go and place the trade. If markets are sliding, you can profit from them by using short selling. And short selling, whilst on the face of it might look a little bit complicated, it's really the same as buying and selling, but the process is just reversed. Okay, so let's take a look at a real market. Let's look at Matic Perpetual Futures on the FTX exchange. We have seen something of a strong run in the price of Matic in recent weeks. Let's say we're of the opinion in the short term the price of Matic has gone too far and we don't have a position open in Matic. So let's say we're going to take the view the price is going to fall from here. So how do we profit? We profit from short selling in selling first in the expectation we can buy back cheaper, lower later on. We're going to take the view that Matic is going to drop, so I'm not going to buy in, am I? I'm going to sell. Once that is done and the trade is opened, that's it. We've shorted Matic. We're now in a position to make a profit if the price of Matic drops from where we opened our position. And like other trades, you can place a stop loss, you can place a take profit order. With the stop loss, when you're short selling, this will go above the price you open the position at. But hopefully this demonstrates it's just as easy to try and profit from markets that are sliding as it is from trying to profit from markets that are rising. And you do that via short selling. It's one of those things that makes a lot more sense when you actually do it for yourself. If you have a real account or are using a paper trading account, for example, like three commas, and you've never done it before, just try it out. Start small. Obviously, don't take on ridiculous levels of risk, but do a small trade selling something short so that you can get a feel of how these things work. Well, that's it for this tutorial and we're going to wrap things up here. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you don't miss out on all of our videos by clicking the subscribe button. You'll get notified when our next lesson is uploaded. Well, I'm Becky. Thanks for watching Siren Crypto and I'll see you on the next video. Happy trading.